Hey, welcome to DC's Math Solutions. I'm inviting all my A-level students. If you're an A-level student, this video is amazing. It's gonna help you to really solve problems regarding integration. I know there are many skills and it could be a little bit confusing. Now in this video, there is the secret to standard integration that I'm gonna show you. Stay tuned, work through, grab your A-level calculator, grab a pen, and don't forget, get a piece of paper. Let's work through some secrets to integrating standard expressions. So let's go, skill one. Hey, so this topic is mainly for my A-level students who have been asking me to do some uh, videos on integration for them. So there are a few skills we're going to learn. Um, I'll show you the secret to integrating even difficult functions okay so we're gonna learn some of these secrets our first skill though is about the standard integration what do we mean by standard that's what we're going to look at what is standard and how do we know we're gonna use standard or not make sure to follow through this remember grab a pen get a book get paper and don't forget your a level calculator i've got mine right here all right so let's get in all right now the standard is we know that generally if we integrate anything to the power of let's say n to, uh, with respect to x anytime we integrate the standard is we will add one to the power and divide by our new power and of course don't forget to add your c i have a student in my class who will always tell me off for forgetting my add c of course because this is an indefinite integral so we don't know where it crosses the y axis so we have to make sure that we include that to take and make room for that all right that's number one the next thing that we need to know is standard because we know that when we differentiate the e to the x with respect to x we will get the same okay the gradient of e to the x is e to the x therefore it means that by standard when we integrate it we'll get the same thing okay and then don't forget to add your c now this is very important don't forget that of course there will be more things we'll learn from this as well this is the next standard one another thing we must remember which is also standard is the integration of 1 over x with respect to x okay now this is not simple to just rewrite it as an as an index term and then try to integrate you have to remember that it doesn't work like that as standard this becomes the natural log of the modulus of x okay and don't forget to add your c as always always add your c now why is it the modulus because we want to make sure because log um, values cannot get past our y axis and it cannot go into negatives therefore we have to make sure our answer is always um, positive so we assume it to always be positive our x values all right and that's important another standard that we should remember is when we integrate our cos x okay when we integrate cos you will okay we remember it with respect to x you will get sine x okay so that's important to remember don't forget to add your c again all right these are standard and that's something you have to the reason why you integrate cos to get sine is because sine differentiates to cos i say sine because sine because cos minus what that means is when i integrate sine x i should get minus cos x okay the reason is sine because cos minus all right so when i integrate cos i get sine because sine will differentiate to give me cos however when i differentiate sine i get minus cos why because when i differentiate cos i get minus sine okay and you have to understand that integration is the reverse of our differentiation and that's very important another thing another skill remember we'll be looking at all these skills okay another skill that we have to know another standard that we have to know is when we integrate sec squared x with respect to x when we integrate that we will get our tan x okay and don't forget to add the c okay so when you integrate sec squared x with respect to x you get tan x of course this bit is in the formula book you can always refer to it and it will help you 
please just remember that another thing that we know again in the formula book that you don't have to memorize is standard when you integrate cosec x with respect and of course cosec x cot x with respect to x you will always get minus cosec x don't forget your add c okay so the add c is there all right and then if we integrate cosec squared x these are all preambles they are standard you don't have to memorize these ones the first ones i spoke about about um, integrating x to the power of n and then integrating e to the x and integrating one over x you need to know those ones okay the cos and the sign you have to know them and they are easy to remember because that is the way you've always done it when you've differentiated that is where you've got the opposite the reverse okay so these ones you don't have to worry if i integrate cosec squared x with respect to x i will get minus cot x then don't forget to add the c okay and the last thing i want you to remember is standard is when i integrate sec x tan x with respect to x i will get sec x don't forget you add c so these are all the box standard now i'm gonna solve a question referring you to some of these box standard okay and then you can remember that so here's the first question the question might say to for example integrate our uh, 1 over 2x with respect to x now we know 1 over x our standard is the natural log of x but 1 over 2x what does it really mean what this actually means is this that we are integrating 1 over 2 that is being multiplied by 1 over x with respect to x this is what this means so technically we can factorize our half out we can get the one half out and then just focus on integrating one over x with respect to x one half will multiply what our result will be because that one over two that one half is just a scalar okay so it stays there so this will give me one half natural log of x don't forget add c okay and that's all it is you've integrated one over two x with respect to x it is that easy it's a very very straightforward easy question okay so remember that our one over two is just a scalar now let's go another question here if i want to integrate three sec squared x add five over x add 2 over x squared i want to integrate this this is very important to understand okay so first of all i'll go and find out from a formula sheet what is the sec squared x integrated to be an integrating part okay so sec squared x will integrate to tan x so that means that we've got 3 tan x for that one okay and then we know that 5 over x our 5 is a scalar and then we've got 1 over x there so that would therefore give me 5 natural log of x okay and then our 2 over x squared 2 over x squared is the same as 2x to the minus 2 remember when we integrate we add 1 to the power and subtract and divide sorry by the new power so we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power so we've got add 2x to the minus 1 and then we divide by the new power okay and then of course when we simplify we'll add our c don't worry so we're going to simplify our answers and make sure it looks neat and tidy and then we add our c so this gives me 3 tan x add 5 natural log of x okay then of course this will simplify to minus 2 over x don't forget add c and that becomes my answer to this question very straightforward what you have to remember is using your standard our standard here as well and of course writing that as your indices and then using your standard this is just using standard to integrate okay another last thing i want to show you hang on with this a lot of students get confused with integrating something like 
5e to the x. It's very easy. The 5 is a scalar. So the 5 goes up. You are integrating e to the x. And that becomes 5e to the x at c. Because remember, e to the x will differentiate to e to the x. So 5e to the x is just 5e to the x at c. 3e to the x will just be 3e to the x at c. This is standard integration. And all you need to do is to use your standard. Thank you for watching and look out for more videos on Integrate. We're going to look at this next skill. There's a secret and we'll learn this next skill, which is about using reverse integration. So we're going to reverse chain rule to help us understand the next skill. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Now I know you have understood how to integrate expressions like 1 over x. You know how to ex integrate expressions like e to the x and all of that. Don't forget, another video is coming, there's skill two, where I give us the secret to integrating using the reverse of the chain rule. Don't forget that, continue to subscribe, tune in every time, and share, make a comment, like our page, and then don't forget to follow us everywhere as well. Take care.